pre-monetized channels. We've all heard of them, but are they worth it? Should you buy a pre-monetized channel and can it have a negative impact on the performance of the channel? Let's go over the pricing first. So how expensive is exactly a pre-monetized channel? So I've done some research on a few websites, what the average prices are. I'm going to give the price of their websites and I'm going to say what I think would be a fair amount for a pre-monetized channel. Currently, there are many different platforms and websites where you can actually buy a pre-monetized channel and you can use it from there. ACC is market, FameSweb, Done For You Dave, Trust You, and tons and tons of suppliers on websites like Facebook and Telegram. Starting on Dave Nick's website and you can see Done For You Dave monetization, get monetized and start earning right away. So when we go to order now, we can actually check the price. We can see that it's $600 for a monetized channel. So the thing with this website is when you buy uh, from this website, you get it delivered instantly. You don't have to wait any time. It's basically guaranteed that you're getting a monetized website as it's a secure payment. I have friends who actually bought multiple channels from this source. It is legit, but it's nothing special. Obviously, botted views and botted subscribers, which doesn't really give it a premium look. And for a price of $600, that would definitely be something you could expect. In my opinion, $600 for a pre-monetized channel like this isn't worth it although the main strength here is that you get it delivered instantly you don't have to wait you just buy now and you get one immediately so on other websites like FameSwap and ACCS Market, prices vary usually between $40 and $300 for a channel, depending on the, on the size, depending on the quality. But you have to look out for scammers. And especially on Facebook, on Telegram groups, you have to be so careful because you don't have any protection. Like you need to send the money in order to give, let them give you the access. And what if they don't do it, right? So that's the thing with this website, you pay, you get it instantly. But from FameSwap, ACCS CS Market, Facebook, Telegram, you're never sure you really need to look out for scammers. So personally, i chosen to buy from this website right here, acsmarket.com, as they have an escrow service, which is basically a middleman, so that lowers the chance of getting scammed massively. Because first, in order for me to receive the channel, he has to, the, the seller needs to give access to the escrow, and once I pay him, it gets approved, and then the escrow gives the channel to me. So it's a really safe way of doing a transaction from person A and person B on a website like this, and that's what I really like. So doing it this way, the chance of getting scammed is just much lower, which I obviously really like. So the channel I bought was $45 on this website with an escrow fee of $5, it comes down to a total of $50 for a pre-monetized channel, which is quite cheap in my opinion. Now, the thing right here is that I need to pay with an escrow service, or I want to do that for safety reasons, but in order to switch ownership on a YouTube channel, it takes over seven days. So I first have to wait seven days for them to transfer the ownership to the escrow, and then I have to wait another seven days for the escrow to switch the ownership to me. So it takes already 14 days, which is two weeks, of waiting before I can actually start with this channel. However, after 14 days, I finally received the channel and this right here is how it looks like. You can see this is a channel. It has a little over a thousand subscribers. Over the last 28 days, 1.3K views. It made $1.30. And then when we go to the analytics, we can see that it is getting some views from some random videos on there. I haven't checked them out to be honest. And we go to lifetime. We can see 450k views in the beginning. I assume this was short, um, probably, I'm not sure. Watch time, 6.2k, uh, 1,000 subscribers, and it made little over $2. Um, now going to the content, we can see it is uh, very weird content, how to hide message from seen from TikTok easily, but also watch YouTube incognito mode, how to download Instagram Pro picture using Android phone. So I'd say not the best videos on here, especially looking at the thumbnails, but it gets the job done. But as I said, I'm pretty sure that the views or the subscribers could be bothered, right? Especially the watch time, as you can see right here, suddenly 860 hours of watch time. It's quite a lot. When we go to the views, we can see there is almost barely anything. So uh, this looks very fishy. Going to the comments, we can see some comments in other languages I don't speak. But this is basically what I got delivered. The channel is called, uh, yeah, what is it called? I think it's Tech Hunk, like Tech Hunk. And this is the channel. So nothing special with it. Looks like it is bought or anything like that. But for $50, this is quite a cheap deal, I guess. So I can now start uploading videos on here and earn immediately without waiting. 
So yeah, this is what I got delivered. So now that you've basically seen how easy it is to get a monetized channel, should you actually do it yourself? So overall, buying a monetized channel can be very cheap and very efficient. It costs almost no effort and within two weeks, in my case, within two weeks, I can already get a channel like this and start uploading on it to make money. You could potentially skip weeks or months of not earning money if you were to start from a channel from scratch, whereas with a monetized channel, you of course earn immediately. So from a business point of view, it could actually make sense, right? So you buy a monetized channel to make more money in the beginning so you don't have to wait that period when you're not monetized yet. So from a business point of view, it looks good. On the other side though, it can have a negative impact on the performance of your channel. And that is something not a lot of people know about. So first of all, you don't know what the previous owner has done with this channel. You don't know what they have uploaded and you don't know how they got the views and subscribers. They know everything, they know exactly if it's botted, if it's fake, if there is content on there that isn't even allowed, they know it, you don't. So that means that there is asymmetrical information, so you could get scammed, first of all, buying a channel. Second of all, reading through the YouTube Terms of Service, it states that buying or selling channels is against the community guidelines. That means what you're doing is officially not even allowed by YouTube itself. Although I have not seen this before, it could happen if they know it that your channel gets terminated. And besides these two things, there's probably another reason why you should never buy a monetized channel yourself. And that is because you can totally destroy the data on your channel. Especially with browse channels, it happens like this, that the algorithm is very, very sensitive for those type of contents. For example, if I choose to upload videos in the Formula One niche on a pre-monetized channel, YouTube needs to know what the audience is. They need to know, okay, this is a Formula One video, probably interesting for people interested in Formula One. Now, if you have fake subscribers or fake views, YouTube thinks that other people watch your channel as well, and this can destroy the old data on your channel. And I've seen this with friends of mine who bought channels like this and started uploading browse-based content, and they got shadow bands for the browse algorithm, they got shadow bands for the shorts algorithm, which is absolutely not what you're looking for. Those videos were constantly not being pushed in the algorithm, they were attracting the wrong audience, and a lot more things that could negatively impact the channel. So to sum this up, I would never, never recommend to buy a pre-monetized channel if you plan on making browse and trend related content on your YouTube channel in a specific niche. The data on your channel is the most important metric for YouTube and by buying a monetized channel, you're completely destroying this. So if you right now are a small YouTuber, you're dreaming of having your own monetized channel so you can finally make all that money that you always wanted, I wouldn't do it because it simply doesn't make sense. If you right now have a small channel, you're not getting that many views, you don't have that many subscribers, but you want to get it to monetize level, then I would just grow organically because if you don't, if you buy subscribers, if you buy views and all of that, you might get to a point where you're monetized, but guess what? No one is gonna watch your content. You're gonna be on the same level. Maybe make one to two dollars every month, but that's of course not what you want. So bottom line, buying a pre-monetized channel is not a ticket to success, especially when you're a small beginner. So if you want to know exactly how I currently build my YouTube channels without buying a pre-monetized channel, without anything related to issues, you can watch this video right here.